Princess Leia hair do you want? Check. Hi, synths and Ableton Reddit subgroup folks. Today's lecture is about getting the most out of your MS-20. The MS-20, the Korg MS-20, is such an incredible sonic workhorse. And when coupled with the SQ-1, oh man, you can do some great stuff with it. So I'm gonna show you today how to use the SQ-1 to modulate your high pass and low pass filters. So for those of you who stumbled on this YouTube video and have no idea what I just said, my apologies. For those of you who are following what I'm saying, hey, let's go on. A little bit of theory and a little bit of DIY hardware. With any MS-20 work, you've got to take good notes. None of this stuff is programmed, right? So here is an example of an MS-20 program sheet that I'm using. You can see where I'm actually showing my patch cords, my SQ-1 in and out, and those SQ-1 in and outs are gonna drive the high pass and low pass filter, and then just some quick notes to show what I'm talking about. Remind myself what I did. Now a little bit of theory. The SQ-1 puts a max control voltage out of 8.3 volts. That's what it put out, puts out max. Its minimum control voltage is one volt minimum. Those are the ranges that the SQ-1 outputs in either from the CVA or CVB out locations on the device. When we look at what the MS-20 can receive in the high pass and low pass filter on the patch bay, the patch bay it's plus or minus five volts, plus or minus five volts. So we need to somehow make the output of the SQ-1 play well with the max and min range available on the MS-20. So really, the voltage control headroom of the SQ-1 to the MS-20 leaves us with a range of from 1 to 5 volts. That's what we can dial the pots into from the SQ-1 to effectively modulate the filters uh, the MS-20. And I'm going to show you how to do that using a digital multimeter and a do-it-yourself cable. So the SQ-1 drives between 1 and 8 volts, right? We talked about that a little bit ago. But we recognize the MS-20 can only handle plus or minus 5. We looked at our headroom, so actually we're going to be able to run from 1 to 5 volts to be able to modulate the filters. Right? So the SQ-1 will be programmed to run not from 1 to 8, but 1 to 5. We'll be programming each one of the buttons on the SQ-1 to modulate from 1 to 5 volts. So for the high-pass filter on the, the MS-20, the high-pass filter will be run by channel A on the SQ-1 from 1 to 5 volts, and the low-pass filter will be run by channel B on the SQ-1 between 1 and 5 volts. We'll be programming the buttons as we go across. Each one of these buttons represents a point in the musical measure as the music progresses. So we start from 5 volts down to 1, 4 volts down to 1, 3 volts down to 1, 2, and so on. For the high pass filter, all right, for the low pass filter, channel B will be modulating up from 1 to 2 to 3, 1 to 4 to 1 to 5 to 1. So actually, between 1 and four, 5 volts, then, on the high-pass filter, channel A will be dropping the influence of the high-pass filter modulation as the measure, musical measure progresses and increasing the modulation of the low-pass filter as the musical measure progresses. And again, quickly here to show how to DMM to tune your SQ-1. So here we got the SQ-1, CVA, and CVB uh, out for the high-pass and low-pass filters, but how do you program it? What do you do? Well, I made myself a cord, a couple of banana plugs, and an eighth-inch tip sleeve. The eighth-inch tip sleeve goes into the uh, CVA, and the banana plugs go into the DMM. So here's the SQ-1 sitting on top of my MS-20, and I utilize, utilize this thing often, you know, uh, all kinds of settings for us to utilize. I use the MIDI out often with my Alesis or my Yamaha, but in this case, when we're going to be utilizing with the SQ, the MS-20, I'm going to set it up so that I can run both the high-pass and low-pass filters across channel A and channel B. That's going to plug into the control voltage plug on the SQ-1, and the banana plugs on the other end of that are going to plug into my digital multimeter. Let's just let's get this set up to active step so I can actually turn these steps on and off. All right, and once it's on active step, I can turn everything else off I'm not interested in. So only working with the first beat of the measure 
on channel A. CVA out goes into the SQ1, and the banana plugs go into the uh, digital multimeter, and label will need to now to see the voltage that's being output on channel A first measure. Recall from our graph, we wanted to get that set at 5 volts. Our first step on channel A, the high pass filter was 5 volts. So now I'll begin to adjust this up to, and I'll, I'll take it further so you can see go all the way up to 8 here. Well, let's keep going a little bit further. Let's go, well, if you, like if you really pump it here, right, all the way up, there it is. You know, you can pump it up to 8 something. But I don't want 8. I want about 5. Let's go ahead and dial this thing back. There it is. Oops, missed it. Come on, back you. Somewhere there. Got it. So now I'm sitting at my 5 volts, which was my, you know, it's steps. It's not, it's not fully, you know, uh, smooth. It's a step function, right? So now down to 1. And the next one over now, I want to be somewhere around 4. Something like that. Next one over. Down to 1 again. I'm just turning that one all the way down. Now up to 3. Oh, close enough. There it is. And then up down to 1 again. Turn it all the way down. And now we're going to go to 2. There's. I just spin this one a little bit down. Down to 2. Down, down, up. Almost. Should probably have some background music to make this more interesting. And then back down to 1. So that is channel A now programmed. And I'll do the same thing with channel B. And you can see I can now turn these all on and run it. We can watch it bop back and forth as it's measuring and uh, putting out the voltage control that we just programmed in to drive the MS-20's high pass filter on bank A. Do the same thing with bank B. Okay, so we've got the SQ1 up and running. You can see Ableton right now is setting the BPM. And we'll mess with that in a little bit, but first let's get ourselves ready to go here. Uh, with the modulation CVA out A going into the high pass filter B CVB out gonna go into the low pass filter and we're gonna go ahead and kick this thing off with the modulation generator and we'll have this trigger it in and we'll have that get up and running like that all right let's go ahead now and play a little bit with the modulation here ahead and now take this next step over to Ableton. Port in the dry signal from the MS-20 into Ableton Live and throw some effects at it. All right, so let's begin to throw some of us here in layers. Now the piece of music you're going to hear is all MS-20. Everything, all the bass workhorse sounds came from the MS-20, utilizing the SQ-1 as a modulation source for the filters. 
Uh, the only couple things in here, there's a, a busted kit. That's an actual drum kit. Super hard to get the Korg MS-20 to sound like a real honest-to-goodness drum kit, right? You don't get the same kind of punch or impact. But I do have an 808 kit in here that has been programmed, uh, and all the sounds do come from the MS-20. So for the most part, this, this music is like 90% Korg, and then a couple of little flavoring elements. So let's kick this thing off here. So this is the dry uh, ring. It sounds familiar and maybe similar to what we just heard a few moments ago in the video. So that's a dry. You can really hear those uh, filter impacts. Let's go ahead and throw some Ableton effects on it. MS-20, that sonic workhorse, having its high-pass and low-pass filters modulated by the SQ-1. Just fantastic. Okay, so my students do complain about how long my lectures are. Now you can too. <laughs> Sorry, it's just so much to talk about, and it went way longer than I'd hoped. I hope you stuck with me, uh, and I hope you learned something, and I hope it was inspirational to you. Um, I do have a YouTube channel, and it's uh, popping up on the screen right now. Please visit it. If you want to hear the piece of music that this all this went into, it's called Deepness. That's on my channel with some other stuff as well, another lecture and a bunch of other things. So anyway, thank you for your time. Uh, I hope I was inspirational, and we'll talk to you later.